Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing with Consti and Firecrow, in my opinion, the two best Brazilian players in the world. You know, I love playing with Consti, and I love playing with Firecrow, so it's going to be an honor to play with them. They both have a channel, so if you guys haven't checked it out already, link in the description. Firecrow and Consti both have amazing channels. They both speak Portuguese, if you guys are looking for some Portuguese Brawl Stars gameplay. So yeah, it's awesome. But with that being said, let's get into the games. We're going to Gene Mid, or Gene Laner, we're just going to figure it out. But let's get into it. Gem grab four squared. So here we go. Headed into the first game. Let's see if we get delay. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of delay just because we're playing on the on the uh, South American servers. But this should be fine. Um, so we're going to go in. We're going to be facing a bull, a Carl. I don't know. Something's on the right. I think it was Anita. Yeah, we got Anita over there. So they made a recent change. So you can basically just auto-aim the entirety of the game with Gene. Outside of the pole if it's a little bit too long but we're just going to hit this bull over here i'm going to hit it a few times firecrow should be able to hit the bull as well i don't think he's going to go for it let's see okay we're going to make sure the bull can't heal up we're going to keep tapping him let's see so they do have the five to one lead we do have the only gem the teammates have gone down a couple times so far let's see if we can pull this carl no we're not going to be able to but that actually might be a good thing because he had pull and he was probably just going to kill us so we're going to stay back over here Consti's put in some work, as you guys can see. Carl is super strong right now. If you guys didn't know, he was definitely the worst brawler prior to this update, but now he is super, super strong. I'm going to help Firecrow over here with this bull. This bull, I think, overextended a little bit too much. Oh, Firecrow just missed that last shot. We're going to keep our distance, but also get close enough to him that we can kill him. We're going to be able to take out this bull. Let's see if we can pull that Carl. We are going to be able to pull the Carl. We're going to be able to kill it, and this is going to give us enough gems over here. We're just going to be chilling around here. We're going to see if we can take out that Nita. We are going to be able to, but we have to be careful because there is a bull coming towards us. Consti is going to use a super and probably be able to get him. We see this Carl is supering. We're just going to stay away. And that is going to be it for the first game. Okay, so here we go into the second game. We're facing Vink and Omar. I see them playing all the time. There's some pretty good opponents. So this is going to be pretty tough over here. We're basically just going to be staying in this mid, chipping until we get our super with Gene. See if we can get a lot of charge off of this mortar. So it looks like we are going to be able to. One more shot. There we go. Firecrow actually eating both of those shots is going to let us heal up. He would have probably been able to kill us if he didn't eat those two shots. Kind of an unnecessary pull by that Gene. We're just going to pull him real quick and be able to take his two gems. Good playing over there by Consti to use a super. Decent super over there by Omar, but I think he was trying to kill us a little bit more than he was trying to kill the others. So I guess you can count that as a miss. I'm going to see if I can pull him. We're going to be able to grab him. This is just going to be an easy three tap. This Mortis is coming scary close to me and Firecrow, though. Let's see if we can get out of the way. Okay, so he didn't hit us with the bats, which is good. We see to hit like a little bit of a chip in order to get our super. Let's we'll just get this Rico over here. Let's see if we can pull Vink. All right, yeah, he was getting a little bit too close to his super, and you know we don't want to let a full health mortis on us with a super, so we're definitely gonna just pull him over there. Get that tenth gem. Oh, Firecrow's gonna get pulled. He's definitely gonna go down over there. Wow, that's rough for us. We're basically dominating throughout the entirety of the game in just one pull, but that's that's what Gene does. So we have Vink, their Mortis, right over there. We don't want to get pulled, though, so we have to be careful for that. Roots a 7-7 seven to seven tie right now. We're going to move out of the way of that pull. I'm just going to pull this Rico over here. We did get the kill, but we didn't charge back our super too much. It looks like Consti is doing a really good job going in and being aggro. We don't want to get supered over here. Consti is going to go down, definitely. Just going to back up, not walk into too much of the super. And now we have the 10 to nothing lead. They're not going to be able to tie it by just getting gems. So they're going to be, a, they're going to have to kill either me or Firecrow. They wasted their gene pull, so that's definitely a plus for us. We're just going to spam this Mortis over here. He's probably the only one that can do anything to us. We're going to take him out, give that little pull. And that is going to be the end of the second game. Let's hop right into the third one.
So here we go into the third game. We're facing the same opponents we did the second time. That matchmaking was like four and a half minutes or something like that. It was pretty brutal. Oh, crap. We shouldn't go too close to each other when facing... When facing a Mortis, just because, you know, they have that ability to go right beside you and just absolutely go through your team. But anyways, he's probably pretty close to his super. He's probably going to be right here. Take him out really quickly. He wasn't able to get any hits on us. I'm going to pull this guy right beside us. We're going to be able to take him out fairly easily. Looks like Consti is winning his lane so far. We're going to be able to get our super off of this Mortis. Staying very cognizant of him. Don't want to forget about the Mortis, because the Mortis is just going to absolutely tear you to shreds if you do. Oh yeah, we're going to be right beside the Mortis, so you're going to be able to take that gem. It's a really good pull over there by Ezek. I guess that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not too sure. It's really hard to juke those pulls when they hit a really good shot. Like, it's a pretty forgiving hitbox. So we do have their Mortis with all of the, all of the gems, which is really good. I mean, it's definitely hard to pull a Mortis. But it's really good that he has them, just because he can't be too aggressive. Okay, now he has seven. Barco is about to get pulled. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. This was looking good a second ago, and then our teammates kind of didn't. Just gave them some gems. We could kill the gene, which is a good sign. Okay, okay, we have them backed up. We're going to be able to get one. We're going to be able to get Omar. Oh, Consti went in and took all the gems. No way. I'm going to stand in front of Consti just so he doesn't get pulled by the Gene. Now I'm going to go towards the Gene and kind of just juke him out with him. We just want to kill the Gene because of that comeback ability. We're going to go down. It looks like Consti is going to be able to live. Oh, it's going to be close. There we go. Really good play by Consti. I thought for a, set, for a second him and Fire Crow through. But really, really good play. We're able to pick up that third dub. Let's head into the fourth and final game and hopefully we can go 4-0 today. So here we go into our fourth and final game. Now they're playing a Daryl, a Tara, and a Jean, which is a crazy comp for that comeback ability. They have three brawlers that can really just change the game with one super, you know, a Tara pull, obviously, and a Jean pull. But also that Daryl can just roll right on you, so they do have some crazy, crazy comp here. You now it's pretty insane. Haven't really thought of this one yet. We're going to heal up over here just because we're low, and we do have the gems. Just going to chill in this corner. Kind of wiggle around for no apparent reason. Got to watch out for that Gene Super. I think we're just going to try and pull him first. Oh, we just missed. Well, we should be able to take out that Daryl. There we go. The Gene is definitely looking to pull us right now. Trying not to be too obvious with my movement. We were able to get the Tara. Getting close up to a Gene usually helps when it comes to killing it. So that's basically what our team is trying to do. Just going to pull over that Daryl right beside us. Going to get that easy kill. Just going to try and stay behind Consti. That Gene's really saving a super. I wouldn't suggest holding a Gene super because it's super easy to charge. So even if you miss, you know, you're going to get it back almost immediately. So definitely don't be holding on to it for too long. Going to fire right towards this Daryl. We're going to be, or Tara. We're going to be able to get her. I don't think they're going to be able to kill us with this, to be honest. Yep, there we go. Fire Crow with the little protection. There is a Daryl in here. Let's see if we can pull him. GG Daryl. And that looks like it's going to be the end. Oh, he has a pull. All right, yeah. That's going to be the end of the fourth game and the end of the video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. And if you didn't enjoy it, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. That is going to be it for today. I do actually have a pretty special video coming up in about two or three videos. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. With that being said, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.